you may be served by calling 6310708-0460. 3D Parking Solution, we take the problem out of parking, just come and we got the rest. Get connected to All Nations Church Without Walls. Simply text ANC to 54244. Once again, we thank you for listening and supporting the Moment of Inspiration experience. If you are enjoying this ministry and you like to sow a seed, we have five convenient ways for you to do so. Cash out at Dollar Sign All Nations, Chicago. Give the fund, All Nations, Chicago. All Nations, Church of God in Christ. Zell, All Nations, C-O-G-I-C at Hotmail.com. Text G-A-Y-L to 54244 website www.thechurch.org. Remember that whatever your problem, sickness, or your condition, we recommend that you turn it over to Jesus and he will work it out. Call a neighbor and call a friend and let them know that the moment of inspiration, live experience is now online. Your announcement for this hour has been yours truly, Sister Juanita Wells. Prayer will be offered by Evangelist Olivia Fluker, worship by the ANC Praise Team. And the next speaking voice that you will hear is that of our pastor and your media minister, Elder Andre Mark Fluker.
demons tremble at the name of Jesus. Tell me that people are healed at the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus. Lord, oh Lord, come on, clap your hands and just shout Jesus. Hallelujah. We Lord, for a great treat on tonight. On today, God, he is working miracles. And there's a miracle today with your name. Brothers and sisters, may I hold this moment up as the atmosphere is conducive for the...
this uh, terrible thing, but 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 God, somebody shout, God. 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 God makes no mistakes. And I say to my Jordan family, we love you, and they are watching from Texas. And for that, I'm starting the clock. First Samuel, Amen. First Samuel, chapter thirty. Yeah. Amen. First Samuel, chapter thirty. It's only two Samuels, but we're looking at the first. Amen. First Samuel, chapter thirty. Yeah. And I want to look at the eighteenth verse. Mm -hmm. I want to look at First Samuel, chapter thirty, mm -hmm. verse eighteen. If you can stand for a judge in a courtroom, come on. I'm gonna tell you sitting at home. You need to yes. stand up for yes. God's word. Yes. His word is what's gonna save yes. these Amen. people during this critical yes. hour. Amen. 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 Glory to God. First Samuel chapter 30, verse 18. I just want you to read, and I'm gonna tell you exactly when to stop. Please listen for my stop. Amen. Because that stop is going to bless you. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. First Samuel chapter 30. If you got it, say, I got it. I got it. It, it says, and David recovered all. I need you to stop right there. And I need you to say that with me. And David, and David did what? Oh. I need you to say it third time in the Holy Ghost. And this time when you say it, it has to reach down in your spirit because what David recovered, you get ready to recover. Uh, I need you to say it this time by yourself. Say it. One, two, three. David, David recovered all. Listen, God, uh, my subject today has given me, God has given me, I shall uh, recover Oh. Yes. Right. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor I shall, I shall recover, recover all. all. You may be seated. During this pandemic, this crisis, this uh, president that is in office that don't care about us, I'm going there. You might have uh -huh. seat there. That's why right. And if you go for him, you ain't got good bill sense. No good bill sense. Amen. It's awful you say. Amen. But you ought to go to the polls. There's one thing to write. It. One thing to I say you are. Go vote. Yeah. Go sanctify itself. Put on your church of God in Christ's habit. And go in there and sanctify the house and vote. Yeah. Amen. We need your vote. Yes. Amen. The black folk killing black folk. White folk killing white folk. Everybody need to vote. Y'all ain't seen nothing. Amen. I shall recover all. Amen. Amen. What is recovery? What is recovery? It's, it's a return to a normal state My of God. health, mind, and strength. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh, return to a no, not your normal yes. norm. Yeah. Come on out here. Yeah. I'm almost ready to preach. Not your, not your normal, because your normal is confusion. Yeah. And God is not the author of confusion. Right. Yeah. Amen. Your normal ain't going to work during these pandemic times. No. Yeah. Your normal, your normal. And if you dating him, and he's still slapping you every Tuesday. You ain't learning to duck on Tuesday. Amen. Glory to God. Your normal is grace. Your normal ain't going to work in the body of Christ. Your distant meetings, but you never revive nobody. You never help nobody. Your jurisdictional conversation about money and paying your get me out anyway. I just don't care. Amen. God is looking at, he wants his normal back. That's why, that's why he closed down the mall, because your tithe was going to the mall. That's why he closed down the bank. Yeah, yeah, because you rather stack up your money than to help the poor. That's why. Yeah, that's why. That's why God is saying, I, I want my attention back. My I want my attention. And, and just because your church is closed, buildings closed, the church, the body of Christ ought to be wide open. Uh -huh. Amen. God saying, I want my attention back. Yeah. And if you don't give it to me, that's why you got to go through what you have to go through. That's why you have to deal with what you have to deal with. Amen. During this time. Because God is trying to get you to recover all. Somebody say, I shall recover all. Oh, yes, recovery will return to a normal state of health and mind. Yeah. You wasn't born with that cigarette wee wee in your mouth. Yeah. Oh, you wasn't born with that cigarette that drank in it. Uh, 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 so right? I refuse to hang with a leader that don't know how to lead. I refuse to hang with people that's mindset is not normal. Right. Amen. So many people in your head
Christ in your flesh. Not stab, not shoot. Come on, somebody, police officer. Not put a knee on the neck. No, 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 no. You need to learn how to pray. Oh, Lord, y'all don't want to talk to me. Learn how to fight in the spirit. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God through the pulling down of our and pull where you are. Reach up there and pull that stronghold down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't got no word, folk, but it's all right. Recovery and repossession go hand in hand. Repossession goes hand in hand. You can't recover without getting your thing back, getting your stuff back. Amen. So you need repossession. Amen. That's what I want to talk about today. Yeah. On the road to recovery. My God. We have to be on the road to recovery. Church is here. recover all in this season. We must recover all. We First off, we got to get our identity back. Because we're not, we're not money raisers. We're not anniversary takers. Amen. We are kingdom builders. We're the head. You know, just push a note because I feel my pancreas producing it. Just say, I'm the head. I'm the head. I need everybody to say, I'm the head. And not the tail. I'm a called recovery. I need you to say that with me. A road, a road, road called, called recovery. recovery. In this road called recovery, it is shaped like a U. Uh-huh. Yes, yes it is. It's shaped, can I get somebody to come hold this for me? It's shaped like a U. Amen. This road of recovery is shaped like the letter Amen. Praise God. It, it, it is called the road of recovery. Yeah. And just hold it up. Praise God. The road of recovery is shaped like a loop pass. A you pass the fluker. Amen. It's uh-huh. shaped just like a you. My God. You start off high uh-huh. and you come down and uh-huh. go back up. My uh-huh. God. Somebody gonna catch that in a minute. You gonna catch that in a minute. This road called recovery, you start you start off whichever way you wanna go. Amen. You start off doing good. You start to turn and go down. Uh-huh. But I come to prophesy that down is just your direction. Uh-huh. It's not your destination. Uh-huh. Look, I, did you hear what I said? I said down is just the direction. Uh-huh. It's not your destination. Uh-huh. Lord Jesus. Uh-huh. So, so in other words, for me to recover, I have to go down. Yeah. Uh, as, as Lady Fluker said yesterday, I can't abort the process. That's right. That's right. I can't get out of the process. Yeah. Uh-huh. God won't. God On the, on the woman, on the things that, uh-huh. the material things that uh-huh. in my life, God had to change and shift my direction. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh my God. I need you to tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, neighbor. Down, down is just your direction. It's, it's just your direction. direction. But it's not my destination. But it's not my destination. Clap your hands and praise God. <laughs> so it's shaped like a you. It's shaped like a you. And on this side is your finished side. God wants to put purpose in your life. God wants to put destiny in your life. Yes. But, but, but uh, what, you want things that God had let you have in the last season. And God said, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do something totally different. Uh-huh. 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 I, I want to do something better. You thank you so much. I want to do something better. I want to do something great in your life. I don't want you to have that same Negro. Uh-huh. Oh, God. See, I don't want you to have that same Negro. Amen. I don't want you to have those same relationships ships because they're toxic. They, they, they make the negative come out of you instead of the positive. They make the devil come out of you instead of God. Come on out here. Get rid of it. Look at your neighbor and say, you ought to get rid of it. On the road to recovery. Uh, things, but on the bottom 
Oh, while well, you're trying to go up, oh, at the bottom, the things start to turn downward. Yes. Right. But down is not your direction. Yes. It's, 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 it's just a direction, but it's not your destination. It's not where God is trying to get you to. So don't get discouraged when things look down. And, and, and don't abort the process because God getting ready to let us shift. I don't hear nobody. See, if you are praising, you ought to have a praise. If you're looking down right now, you ought to praise God. Because God getting ready to shift your life for the better. Look at somebody say, it will be shifted it will be shift for the better. God desires for you to have the best. Don't you know that? Amen. Amen. Say, you got to get rid of those pre people, those persons that try to stop you from getting to your next level in God. That's why you keep going around the same Mayberry tree because your character haven't changed. You've been praying for everybody else, but you still mean as a junkyard dog. Y'all don't want to talk to me. You still mean out of jailhouse jailer. Amen. Amen. God is trying to get you to change your character. So he can elevate you. Not just in the spirit, but in, in, in material things. Elevate you, give you something new. What does Isaiah Hallelujah, 43 and 19 says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring. Somebody say shall spring forth. It shall spring That word shall is a promise. God don't God cannot lie. I'm not a man that I should lie. Neither some man that I should repent. Have I said it? Shall I not do it? Have I spoken? Shall I not make it good? Look at somebody and say, God can't lie. God can't lie. He said, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? Uh -huh. I will even make a way in the wilderness. Yeah. Some of you are going through the great, greatest trial of your life. Yeah. But God, even through this pandemic, we can double for our trouble. Oh, Amen. Yeah. God is getting ready to make Take away yes. in our wilderness. Yes. And I will put rivers in the desert. Yeah. Your dry place won't be dry. Come on. Yeah. I need some prophetic people to catch that. Jump up on your feet and look at somebody and say, my dry place. Got a whole lot of rivers in it. Got a whole lot of rivers in it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In this you, Romans 8 and 28 is in full effect. Uh -huh. For we know that all, let me get out of here. For we all uh, know that all things work together for that love. Uh -huh. That's why it ain't working out for you because you don't have a love for God. Uh -huh. You love your pastor more than you love God. You love your state supervisor more than you love God. Uh -huh. And God is tired. Come on out of here. Come on. Man. God is tired. He wants his attention back. When will you get his attention back? He shut down everything. Letting folk get shot. Allow the devil to run crazy to try to get your attention. But you focus on everything else other than my Jesus. If your church ain't about Jesus, if your ministry ain't about souls, you in the wrong. Won't you go work at the mall? Won't you go be a killer or something? But God is saying, I want my attention back. Will you give me my attention back? God is getting ready to let you experience smooth recovery, great recovery. You won't be depressed no more. You, won't, you will have purpose. You will have destiny. I speak it over your life. That God getting ready to blow your mind. God getting ready to let you experience the kingdom of God like never before. One thing have I desired that when I see now that I may dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God getting ready to blow your mind. God getting ready to bless your life. Wake up church. Get God. Give God his attention back. My time is up. I got to get out of here. The Bible says David came to the city and found the city burned with fire. Found his wife and children as prisoners. But God, they cried, cried till they didn't have enough crying left in them. Some of you are just like that. You've been crying. 
will go to college. You will go to college. And because God's hand is on your life, it's on your life. You can't be like everybody else. You can't hang with everybody. You are peculiar people. You are royal priesthood. You are holy. I just need to have some food for the sin that's laid hands on his belly and just deposit what God has given you to deposit in this young man.
I said, he come and find me in Texas, but you ain't going to find me we all strapped in Texas. With the word or oh, hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Right. Ain't going to kill you. Oh, you want to live? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on. You don't need that woman because you don't appreciate the love that she has. My God. my God. The Lord said, call this right here. Yeah. Every woman in here that wants to experience God's love more, yeah. I want you to come to this altar. That's crazy. I ain't never called an altar call like that. You want to experience God, God's way. It's better than your way. You trying to recover the same thing that you had. And God said, let me do something to do. Just make an altar. Y'all can move this camera. I hate to say that. You can move this camera because I don't want them to mess it up. I don't have no money to do it. Thank you so much. God bless you. Every woman that desires that, the Lord says you will recover. Yes, yes. I want you to get your hand.